Welcome to the case summary for Ashcroft versus the Free Speech Coalition on ForLawNotes.com. Various plaintiffs in this suit brought this action against the U.S. Attorney General claiming that First Amendment rights were violated by the overbroad Child Pornography Prevention Act of 1996. The act banned any visual depiction that is or appears to be of a minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct. So it included uh, sexually explicit images that are sometimes called virtual child pornography that appeared to depict minors but were produced by other means other than using real children. Like for instance, they use computer generated images or images of adults that look like minors. In addition, the act expanded the child pornography definition to include a visual depiction that is advertised, promoted, presented, or distributed in such a manner that it gives the impression that the material is or contains a visual depiction of a minor engaged in sexually explicit conduct. The issue then is whether virtual child pornography is protected speech exempt from the Child Pornography Prevention Act. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the CPPA was overbroad and it did violate the First Amendment. They rationalized it that virtual child pornography does, was not a causal link to real child porn and the government can't prohibit speech just because it increases the chance that an unlawful act will be committed at some indefinite future time, that it may sus suppress speech only if that advocacy is directed to inciting a pro or producing an imminent lawless action and is likely to incite or produce that action. That concludes this case summary for Ashcroft versus the Free Speech Coalition on forlawnotes.com.